Nerds! Welcome to Nerd Magic, time to get nerd up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to spread the word up. Okay nerds, as promised I got the final verdict here of the Lineage ROM for the LG V20 and one of the things I like about this ROM, I'll just be clicking on these applications here and look how goddamn fast these applications pop up, they load up and it's just pretty fast, it's just a seamless really really quick experience zero lag no stutter whatsoever look at how i pull up the google play store everything just loads goddamn fast and in addition to that pre-built in the application we got google assistant pre-built you don't have to install any extra application nothing so this is what i definitely love about this rom so far this rom is just goddamn fast we have google assistant built in the rom and then when you go to settings as well this is another perk right here, it's just a very easy experience, no bloat whatsoever, they de-bloat all of that bullshit, we just have a seamless, non-bloated Google Pixel experience right here. And as you see everything's just right here in the setting, everything is easy to find, I just love how this is man, you don't have to look for anything, it's just right here in your face. So this is definitely a huge plus with that, the storage as well, what I like about it, you know the LG V20 has 64 gigs, I have my 64 gig SD card as well, it just virtualize everything and just add the 64 gig internal and the external and just put everything in one, it just combusts everything into one storage and I love that, no extra tweak you gotta do to get that done and in addition to that, uh, let me show you guys some extra features here, let me just see what else I wanna show you guys and as you can see how fast that moves right here, I definitely most certainly love how fast this move guys I just can't stop saying that that is what I really love about that and look in the button and the button area right there whatever the button window whatever the hell you want to call that where in the menu I just went that says buttons when you go in that shit it has all these extra option here left-handed mode where's the right-handed mode at <laughs> And then you have all these extra things you can do to the bottom here if you want all these extra button gesture to set at the bottom. I just find that to be pretty goddamn cool. You know, little things like this really come a long way. And this is what I like. You have extra things you can do. You can double tap to make something extra happen on the home button. You can long press, make something else happen. And look at all these extra options you have when you do any one of those. Where you long tap, long hold, double tap, triple tap. Just keep tapping that ass. <laughs> Uh, that was so out of line <laughs> and you know we got a power menu option here we got screenshot right here that you can set from the power menu restart airplane mode I just definitely like all this perks what this ROM comes with it is definitely loaded and how it does it it does it in such a clever way because it never once feel like if any of these feature is just overwhelming it just does it it just gives you enough and that is what I really 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 appreciate about the ROM and let me see if I can see anything else here that I can show you guys that I really really enjoy about the ROM you know you have the keyboard cursor control right there the control ringtone volume control playback answer call wake device it's just a it's just a lot of features here that you got in this specific button area right here I really love that and then let me show you guys something else right here uh, let me just scroll down there was something else I'm trying to remember where the hell is it at uh, come on come on Oh yeah, this as well. This is what I love about it. You can create multiple user accounts. So like for example, if you if there's somebody using your phone, let's just call that person a guest. <laughs> you know, you can create a guest account basically and give them limited access where it's to the point where they can't access your text messages, where they can go on the internet. So the only goddamn shit they can do is just make phone calls. So you don't have to worry about your privacy being invaded. <laughs> so that is something I most certainly like. And here wireless and network settings, you see how nice and organized everything is right there. It's just, it just gives you the pixel vibe. Everything is just well organized. And I, can, I know you guys are probably wondering, Mr. Nerd, Mr. Nerd, why you keep talking about a goddamn pixel? The reason why, because the pixel experience is the goddamn best experience you can get on an Android phone. The only thing is, the phone looks like a goddamn broken toilet. It looks like shit. <laughs> And in addition to that, let's go back to the V20 right here. You got a recording, a pre-built recording that comes with this ROM. And this recording is one of the best recording I've seen on Android as well. So this is definitely a perk in which I will highly recommend to install this ROM. You see you got a screen recording right there and it's pretty easy to use. You just click on it, you click yes, then you, you know, click on the orange stuff and boom, just like that, it's recording my screen unbelievable so I definitely appreciate everything that this ROM has now let me start to talk about the things that I do not like 
What I definitely don't like as I pointed right there, there is no goddamn second screen man and that shit is just weak to me man. How the hell could you be using your V20 without a second screen? Like that is one of the sales points, that is one of the sales marketing scheme they do to lure us in and spending that goddamn Benjamins on this goddamn phone. And then we can't use the second screen? <laughs> Yeah, so that is definitely something I do not like and in addition to that this camera that comes with it as well What I do not like about the camera right there um, Basically, it shows a little too blue. I know the LG V20 already has this blue This blue tint that it already comes with but in the camera for some reason when you take pictures Even when I transfer my pictures over to my Mac or onto my Windows machine It still looks blue. Look at that. Why the hell is the rock app so blue? Look at that shit. You know, look at the rock when I'm looking at him. Does his abs look like that? No, his abs has this nice sexual peanut butter like color. And now they're turning my man abs all blue. <laughs> How would you like if, if you're in the sunlight and you just come out looking like some, some damn blue, blue, blue? <laughs> Couldn't find a word there, but yeah, pretty much. And as you see there, the self camera as well. What I do like about the selfie camera though, at least it just kept it wide density. It used a wide camera instead of the regular one, so that's definitely good. But in addition to that, the downside again is just goddamn blue. But if you're not really a camera guy and you don't give a shit about the second screen, I highly recommend to download this ROM. The link is in the description below. And of course, that's pretty much it. And make sure to like and subscribe. Have yourself an awesome day. And as usual, I love you guys. Hold the phone, Rock. <laughs>